Some of you were asking for an update on the 3D printer rebuild. So let's get into it. Hey, what's up, makers? Trevor here for Love Make Share. Back in the shop with a quick update on the ongoing 3D printer restoration project, which is pretty much complete. Uh, at the very least, it's as complete as it's gonna be for the time being. Um, not something that I wanna devote a ton more time to in the new year, because uh, as you can see, it's printing again. And I have uh, a few items to talk about here. First, just a quick recap of what's been done with the 3D printer. Uh, it needed a new stepper motor to drive the Y axis. Two, I could no longer get belts and pulleys in the lengths and sizes that I needed to make the printer work properly again. Three, I replaced all of the belts and pulleys from kind of custom uh, 19 2 T 2.5 gears uh, to a more, much more standard 20 tooth GT2 gear and pulley system. Um, just much easier to get replacement parts for next to nothing really on AliExpress. So that's where things stood. Last time I did an update, I was starting to put everything back in place. Uh, after a bit of trial and error in terms of getting the belts tight but not too tight and having to drill some new holes in the acrylic case of my Velman Vertex, K8400, in order to mount the motor in the correct place. I got it up and running again and uh, did a couple of prints that went okay. Um, for example, I did my first dual color print on the Vertex since I got it. At no other point have I been able to get everything working properly to get a two color print. Um, and uh, as you can see, there were still some settings off and this little benchy boat was offset and still didn't do quite what it needed to do. Um, but that opened the gate to me finally getting it done right. Uh, which led me to this. It's holding a Sharpie right now, but this is a little airbrush sand that I did um, for uh, my cousin Marco who runs the War Painter. So check him out on, on Instagram. He's got a great Twitch channel where he'll um, live stream painting miniatures. Um, so he was really cool. So I did this with the War Painter logo on it in a two color print. The Benchy Boat, I believe I sliced in uh, with in Cura Engine in the Vertex Repetier software. It's not very good software. So I finally have moved to standalone Cura. And after a little bit of fiddling with it, I finally got a printing. Uh, so I printed these. Some of them are mostly finished. Some of them are not yet finished at all. Uh, I'm gonna do a, a video where I finish the last two of these Star Trek Discovery Deltas uh, to walk you through the process of, uh, that I go through finishing a print. And then I also printed this guy, which is the longest single print uh, that I've done to date on the Vertex. It was printed in filaments.ca, econofill in blue, uh, a little less than 0.1 millimeter layer height. And I am absolutely blown away. This is the, the best that this printer has ever printed. And it's after replacing a whole bunch of pieces um, and moving to new software and, and all the rest. So I'm very, very happy with what's coming off this printer right now. Cura has been a huge step forward in the quality of the prints that I'm getting right off the printer. And as such, it's meaning that I can get to finished prints and functional prints way faster so very happy about that it also means that the printer is kind of in a state right now where the kids can use it as a tool as well and in fact my littlest is working on a project right now that she designed in tinkercad uh, and then we printed out on the vertex so that's where things stand with the restoration right now i'm going to try and keep it humming along because it is a fun tool to use and we have a few projects that are in various states of not quite finished yet that it's still a good tool to use. And there are a couple of functional prints that I would like to design uh, in Fusion 360 and print as well for uh, a few things around the house. There it is, that's the end of the 3D printer restore and repair saga. Um, I'm, I'm really glad to be entering 2019 
with that off my plate. How about you? Do you have any war stories about fixing a busted 3D printer? If you do, I would love to hear them in the comments down below. Otherwise, as always, I'm Trevor. Thank you very much for watching Love Make Share. I hope you've been inspired. Go make something.